The next section we're just gonna discuss is the energy equation. Before going to the formulation of the energy equation, we're just gonna see some of the examples and we can, we'd like to just intuitively imagine how uh, this kind of like the different types of the energy means. For example, one of the good examples if, is, is the like the storage of the water behind a dam structure. So you can see this like a dam structure and we have the, a lot of water behind the dam. If that is the case for us, so for example, you can see behind the dam, all the energy is accumulated and saved. And we can call this kind of like the energy as the uh, pressure energy. So we have a lot of pressure here. But the pressure here, if you have like a pipe, this pipe, like for example, is called penstock. If that kind of like the uh, pipe uh, release the flow from the like the reservoir throughout the like the dam structure through the body of the dam, and 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 release and and turn the spine and uh, the the turbine here, so we can see here the a generator. If the turbine is connected to the generator, it can generate electricity. So the electricity energy is created here. But this kind of like a flow running is called a kinetic energy. So the energy which has got a like the uh, running flow and is popular as a kinetic energy. So in other words, we can say the pressure energy, the energy behind them has been released to the like the kinetic energy because depending on the level in here, if you have like the the difference between this level and this level is very high. We see the like the kinetic energy will be higher, and uh, and it depends on the height of the water, and other like the factors. But this is like the big picture about that. Another example, if you have like the, for example, hill hilly area like here, and we have a like a reservoir at the upper reservoir of the hill, for example, and if you're just going to just do piping and by using the intake shaft or like the, any kind of like a pipe. If the, if the water or the flow can be released or uh, from this side. So we can see here, this kind of like the energy is like the potential energy, but once it's released and a release from here is all converted to like the uh, kinetic energy. So this is the first concept. So let's look at with this kind of like introduction. Let's look at the uh, energy. Energy equation or uh, is, uh, popular as the Bernoulli's equation has got a three terms as we just initially discussed about that. So the total energy we said that is not lost. So based on the conservation of the energy, all the three terms will stay all the time, but they might be converted from, for example, one uh, source or like, for example, kinetic to the potential or for the, from the potential to the uh, kinetic ones. Uh, we just gonna in uh, Bernoulli's or energy equation, we just express all the terms as a like the unit of the head. Uh, in the, the three terms are in this way. So the first one is used as the elevation head or denoted by Z. The second one is the velocity head and the third one is the pressure head. The velocity head is denoted by V squared over two G is the velocity of the flow and the G is the gravity. Uh, acceleration. And the last term, the third one is a pressure head. Pressure is like the pressure divided by rho g, which is a, this is the like the pressure expresses Newton uh, per square meter divided by rho is a density and times the g gravity acceleration. So p over rho g, you need to just memorize this term as a like the uh, pressure head. So we can just have based on the conservation of the energy, if we don't have any energy loss, okay? So for any like the, for any two points within a pipe, with a like the changing, let's say the diameter, we can easily write all these three terms between two points and equate, uh, uh, equate from the like any other points. So for example, the total energy per unit weight of the volume or the unit weight of the fluid actually, uh, for point one in three terms can be written as uh, elevation head, which is the elevation reference to the, like the uh, datum or reference line. For example, we need to just consider a reference line for all the points that we just analyzed. Uh, and if that is the case, for example, point one has got a like the uh, height above that point is a Z denoted by Z1. Velocity, uh, velocity term, uh, velocity at this point is a V1. Velocity term is a V1 squared over 2G. 
plus the third term is like a P1 pressure at this point. Uh, but the pressure head is denoted by P1 divided by rho g. On the right hand side, uh, the only difference is that the index is just going to be like a two, but all other terms are the same. The z is as big as this one, the v2 and the p is a v2, uh, v2 squared over 2g plus p2 uh, over rho g. So this is like the without uh, energy loss, we can just write the equal energy between point 0.1 and point 0.2. Okay, so I'm, I'm in general, just bear in mind, uh, if the energy from point one uh, moves to point B, there is another term that we will discuss it later, uh, which is the energy head loss. So all the, it's, it's not like a one type, we have like a more than one type of energy head loss and we can, because of that, we can call energy head losses. But for the time being, just imagine we don't have energy head loss. I mean, in this kind of like the chapter in this section, and we can just write without uh, lose of the generality, so we can just write like the Z1 plus V1 squared over 2G uh, plus P1 over rho G is equal to the same terms uh, for the second point. Okay, so that's like the point. So just bear in mind, and another point is that all the like the, these three terms or on the right hand side, six terms, all of them are expressed in units of meters. Okay, so meters is like the units of that. So Z is obvious because Z is like the, uh, height or, or the elevation above the reference line, the datum level. We want to score over 2G, uh, 2G. If you just kind of do uh, dimensional analysis, you will see this kind of like that this value is equal to uh, meter and the same for the third one as well. So P1 over uh, rho G. Please just do this one and make sure that the units of all three terms are equal to one. Okay, so with that example, let's just pass this uh, section. We're just gonna discuss about that in, as a uh, poll everywhere in the class. Uh, so let's just look at if you have like the, a tool or instrument like this one, which is called Venturi meter or Venturi meter. If you have like a Venturi meter and in, in all the Venturi meter is like a pipe that has got a different diameter in different sections. First of all, uh, the diameter increasingly uh, change. So with like the steepest slope, it just uh, decreased the, like the diameter. And with, with the mildest slope, uh, the diameter increase, I mean, longer than the like the first contraction is expanded until it gets to, like a point three. And in all point one, two, three, we have a, like a standing pipe here and we can measure for a standing pipe, we can measure the pressure head, means that the P over rho G. Just bear in mind, we said that all the three terms, meaning that elevation head. So if you have like a date in this dash line is elevation head, we have like a Z1 for in point one, for example, or Z2 or Z3. Uh, and for this case, imagine all three are uh, uh, the same because based on the assumption is that like the, we have like a center line uh, horizontal. Uh, this is the elevation head. So it is like a fix for all the three terms. However, the pressure head and the velocity head, they are interchangeable. Why? Because of the changing of the diameter. Because of the changing of the diameter, if you remember from the uh, continuity equation, continuity equation, once we just have like the smaller diameter, the velocity uh, change and actually increase. So, so once we're just gonna get to point two, so we can see like the larger portion for the velocity. And in this way, we can see like a larger proportion and the pressure reduce. And the last one you can see here, uh, the same pressure will stay here, but apparently not the same pressure, the same velocity will stay here. However, because of the energy loss, we're just gonna have like the decreasing of the uh, a pressure head. So we lose some part of the pressure head, which is sacrificed in this case. So you can just use the same for any, like the two points of the one, two, three, any two points, you can just write Bernoulli's equation and equate like the total energy head, uh, energy, energy head from uh, the beginning point is equal to the total energy head to the second point, plus any type of the head losses that if you have. Okay, so next we're just gonna look at some examples in this kind of case. Uh, 